There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome to another random DOS game show. And after fiddling about with a setup file, this is Morath's in Trap. We have the option to play Morath's in Trap. We have instructions which are apparently really helpful. We can also, uh, you know, go through the Hall of Fame, purchase more Morathware games, uh, look at the important people and friends of Steve Morath, or read about the AMD 80C287 Math coprocessor. And uh, you'll see at the bottom there, really nice gesture from Mr. Morath. Please freely copy this game. So if you want a copy, you have his blessing. It's great stuff. Let's look at the instructions. Good idea. Objective. Reach the end of the game field without being caught by the enemies. Hit 1 to 5 for more help. The challenge. You must make it to the end of a suspended pathway. This would be easy if not for the robots who have been instructed to kill you. You will have to invent clever traps, which can stop the enemies. This would also be easy, but they become more clever as you proceed. Remember to move efficiently, since each move costs two points from your score. Hmm. Movement. Use the numeric cursor pad to move horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. You may burn a hole in the field by pressing shift and any of the eight directions. Use these holes to entrap enemies. You can also fill holes by hitting Alt 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 on the numeric pad. So shift and Alt, apparently. Okay. Um, enemies and scoring. This one lacks intelligence and is easy to trap. It can't even go around obstacles. Same as above, but it's slightly better at going around holes in the playing field. This guy moves a lot. He will move around whenever possible, making it hard to trap him. Nasty, nasty. You can't keep it trapped for long. It will eat its way out of most traps. Okay. One square forward gains 30 points. One square backward costs 30 points. Every move also costs two points. Hmm. Your first concern should be to get to the end of the field. Okay, so don't pay too much attention. I'm already there. Let's play. 100. More offs and trap. Oh my. Look at that rainbow field. Okay. So already there are monsters. And it's a turn-based game, and there appears to be a mini-map in the top left-hand corner. So, we use a numeric keypad to move. And as you can see, moving costs two, and our score has gone down. And there are holes in the area. And we can make holes to entrap monsters. Fortunately, I don't think we'll need to do that with this one. He looks to be stuck. And it'll redraw the screen when you get to a certain point. Though the monster's still there. Right. Shall we try and entrap this monster? There we go. Ha! You can't get us now, can you? So, I guess we'll just continue. And you can see our score going up. Because we are off. See you later, monster. Bye bye So that worked. That was okay. Uh, I was expecting this to be a very confusing puzzle game. Right. You see ahead there's a sort of bridge structure. But there's a monster guarding it. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to... Doop. Entrap. Doop. In trap. Uh oh. Game over. <laughs> okay, let's 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 try that again. Uh, hey, Mister Nobody scored less than us. 
Let's try that again. That, that was quite fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, okay. Doesn't appear to be any monsters. So it, there's a degree of random generation going on here. Sweet. All right, we'll just head on up. And look at that. This is decidedly different. Ah, so there's there's a degree of procedural generation going on here. Um, we have to get around there. But is there room? Yes. But how are we going to prevent this monster from getting us? Hmm. Let's get him onto that side. Right. See, we're we're trying we're trying to entrap him here. Aha. Oh no. I hit diagonal instead of up and he ate me. Lonnie, you did even worse this time, I think. Let's try one more. I, I get I get the basic idea. But I think I'll have to use the, the alt to build a bridge to prevent. Right. So there's a monster over here. That's fortunate for us. We can just head over here. And neither of those monsters will cause us any problems. We'll just head over this bridge. Is there any monsters at the other end of the bridge? No. Eh, suits us. Our score will just keep going up as we keep proceeding. Just be careful not to hold down the arrow keys, otherwise you're in for a nasty surprise. You don't want to fall down the pits, you know? There are no, there's no sound. Um, the graphic palette is its crazy usual Steve Moraff style. No, this monster's gonna eat us if we're not careful. Look at how close he's getting. Ah, uh, no. Have to head back. I think he's going to get us here. Right. It's drawn it in, in detail for us, helpfully. But that monster is right by us. So I'm going to hit back, hopefully. Now, we are going to try and build a bridge this time. That didn't do any... Ah, oh, there we go. We have built a bridge to prevent the monster from getting us. Oh god, there's another one. Right. So it's, it's a logic game. There we go. We just uh, prevent that monster from getting to us, we should be okay. Except there's another one there. Oh no. Um, we're, we're just gonna head this way, guys. And uh, hope for the best, I guess. Uh, just building along. And there's limited monster AI by the looks of things. Oh god, wrong move. Wrong move. I'm dead. <laughs> See, I, try, I tried to build a hole there, but the monster jumped over it and ate me in the process. And that's uh, Morafs and Trap. It's a fun little puzzle game. Uh, all about spatial awareness, which I'm terrible at. Uh, deconstructing bits of track and being blinded by the crazy rainbow colours that are a hallmark of more off games. Who would I recommend it for? Hey, if you don't need any sound and you just want a little something to play on another monitor, this is quite fun. It's quite entertaining. And the procedural generation of each level means that it's casual. You can just play it any number of times and do much better than Lonnie. But as you can see, 
going to hit any key, type our name with a capital this time because we are top. Look at that. Terrific stuff. Yeah, good fun. Good fun. Give it a go. And if you like me talking about DOS games, I do it a lot. Feel free to check out the hundreds of other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see there, hit subscribe. But well done, Mr. Morath. That was a very entertaining puzzle game. Until next time.